As the days get shorter and the air cooler, a noticeable change occurs. The once lush green landscape of summer gradually turns to the vivid colors of autumn. A forest formerly filled with an array of bird song is reduced to just a few, most notably the chickadees and jays. and the occasional utterance from an upset nuthatch. The sweet whistle of a white-throated sparrow might be heard too, but only rarely, as many have already left for winter. Fall is the time of year when birds all come together to forage in our berry trees, on our lawns, and at our feeders eagerly gorging themselves in an effort to fatten up for winter or their long flight south. Other and more clever birds busily hoard as much food items away into the trees and ground, hopeful they'll have stored enough to evade starvation over winter. For young birds trying to cut corners, the temptation of stealing another bird's cached food can prove quite difficult to overcome, especially as winter gets closer. Birds that hang out in flocks are provided some sense of security. With many eyes on lookout, chances of escaping from a hawk can be pretty good. In just a matter of seconds, an entire flock of birds can go from happily foraging on the ground to suddenly taking off into the air if something startles just one bird. The need and want to survive brings different species together too. It's common to see a mixed flock feeding together. Even birds that aren't typically the type to hang out in a flock may join in, such as curious warblers. As October turns all the more colorful, blue jays become more photogenic than they already are. A crisp cold air fills the mornings, coating a layer of frost over the ground and leaves. Juncos hop along the dirt path, searching for whatever insects and seeds they can get. While chipmunks stuff their cheeks with as much food as they can before they need to hibernate for winter. The soft needles of tamarack start to change their color, a sure sign that rutting season is in full swing. The comical behavior of the boisterous blue jays, along with their eye-catching blues, provides some excitement and liveliness to the stillness autumn seems to bring. In the quietness, a distinct sound can be heard reverberating through the silent autumn land, though. Standing proud on his favorite rock, a rough grouse makes his presence known by drumming with his wings. It's a message for other males that this place is occupied. As the leaves turn color, so too does the apples on this big old tree. Evening grosbeaks that weren't around all summer may suddenly and unexpectedly drop by feeders during the last few days of October. Their coloration, as well as when they arrive, make them seem like the perfect Halloween birds. The only thing missing is any kind of creepy or spookiness about them. The leafless trees and bitter cold of November turns this land into a place meant for the very tough and smart to continue on. But it isn't all gloomy. Tamaracks still holding onto their needles burst with a glorious golden color contrasting beautifully with the other conifers that don't change color or lose their needles. With a dusting of snow, the tamaracks make this place look like a magical kingdom. Truly autumn's final showstopper. By now, most of the apples have fallen to the ground, their final resting place before decaying or being eaten. 
Although a lot of sparrows and finches have left for winter, the juncos and goldfinches remain, proving they have what it takes to endure the harsh winter climate of this beautiful place. Instead of the mornings being greeted with the songs of robins or sparrows, they are instead dominated by the caw of a crow, or the call of a blue jay. Shorter days means that by 5 o'clock, a setting sun causes all the crows of the area to come together before roosting for the night. Old Man Winter has shown its face a few times already, but in December, he's likely to stay. Autumn now begins to turn into a magical winter wonderland. Visitors from the north arrive like bohemian waxwings, eager for some sweet berries and apples. Even robins may come out, a surprise to many that think they have left for winter. Not all robins leave. As the winter solstice approaches and the snow buries everything up, it becomes a time of survival. But with the help of friendly humans, they may have a good shot at it. So remember to keep those feeders filled up for our feathered friends. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed my video and if you did, help me out by giving it a thumbs up. And you can even share this video on Twitter or Facebook. Happy birding!